So the last video I did, um, I had a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> I was doing it. By the end of it, I start I powered it up and I put a couple of cards in, and I wanted things to go wrong so people could see it. Okay. And so yeah. the first card went in. Yeah, no worries. So the second card went in, didn't see it, and I was like, oh, for God's sake. And then uh, I only had four cards at the time, so I was still waiting for a few. So then I was able to show people like changing the the uh, risers and whatnot. But okay, so. There you go. As far as I can see, you've got the basics for a setup. Yeah. So now, what you need to do is plug your monitor in, no. plug your keyboard in, your mouse in, and we're going to go. So there's obviously people think Windows is better. People think uh, Linux is better. I personally get faster results using Linux. I use Ubuntu 15.04, and you can just set it up on a little USB stick. Um, but what we're going to do with this is we're going to set Windows up first because it's good to have a dual operating system um, and we can partition the hard drive and have Linux and Windows. So for like with X11, nice hash miner which is what made all the money uh, only a week or two ago, would only run through Windows which was a real pain because then I had to change everything. But I found it a lot easier to add Windows, uh, sorry, Ubuntu after having the Windows on the hard drive. Whereas the other way around, oh, Windows just wanted to go, no, I'm going to steamroll everything and <laughs> just start from scratch. What's that? You say you just part partitioning the hard drive, yeah? You can do, yeah. Yeah. If you want to. And for this, just, just to keep it simple, we'll just set up Windows. Yeah. Because um, I've never used Linux in the last in the last mining thing, I was always Windows. You're um, fun to learn, eh? Yeah, so <laughs> it has been, it has well, been yeah. <laughs> a lot of late nights. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause it in a bit, just so that we can set up Windows, because it's going to take forever. When I get that in, I'm just going to get some batteries for the uh, yeah. mouse. Oh, do you have a, um, an adapter? So you need oh, yeah. an adapter for the VGA there. You might find, if you get a lot of nice people, mm -hmm. they send them over in the graphics card boxes. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, uh, there's one there and the rest of the box is just down here. Okay. Well, I'll have a little look and you do your... Yeah, let me just hop through here a sec because I might have one in the box. <coughs> um, something and if we can't find one of these it'll be a sorry end to the video I'm going to pause this while we find the VGA adapter. Okay, so we're back on. We couldn't find the adapter. 
adapter that we've got HDMI. So, uh, you got that power cable? Uh, put it there on the box there. Nice one. This will be new for me. I've never actually run HDMI for one of these cards. Okay. I've always gone old school with the adapters. Right then. Moment of truth. So what we're going to need to do now is put a power socket in there and a power yeah. socket in there. So you've got one already over here. Yep. It's here. So make sure it's all turned off when you're... Yeah, uh, just yeah, <laughs> just in case. Uh, okay. This should be interesting. Yeah, where I've got all the rigs set up in, at mine. Yeah. I've got just a little pokey monitor, it's all bashed up uh -huh. and naked. Yeah. And if any, anything goes down, I can just... I mean, I could set up something so I could remotely control them from. That'd be, the that's house. a good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah, Team yeah, viewer yeah, yeah, would yeah, work yeah, perfectly yeah. for that. Um, but you tend to find they kind of just go down, and you can set up um, uh, files so that they automatically start at the minor and whatnot. But it seems like a bit, bit more faff than just plugging a monitor in, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we need Ooh. the keyboard and the yeah. mouse in. Up a uh, mouse that doesn't need batteries, so we're gonna have to spend ages faffing for batteries as well. <laughs> so everybody's parts are raided. Yep, pretty well, much. Yeah. Well, yeah, those little adapters you can pick up peanuts, but like I said, there's always something you'll be through them, yeah. and there's yeah, always something, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're always waiting on that last little part. I mean, I don't think I'd have anybody near me that I could go and call it on. Yeah, I'm and lucky it, like that. I can just pop them there, yeah, pop to all my neighbours and be like, right, I need this, this and this. It would have taken me a load of fussing as well until I realised I could have just run off the HDMI. Yeah. Alright, there we go. We've got keyboard and mouse. Okay, we also need an internet connection on this as well. Ah, super ethernet cable. Ooh. I've got 100 metres because wow. you never know when you might need it. It was only 5 quid more for 150 as well. So, Alright. Uh, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal, really. Yeah, definitely. What I use is the old um, AC adapters. Yeah, you were saying about that, yeah. so uh, how does that work? Then? So you, you, where your main router is in the house, you just plug it into yeah. the plug socket and run the ethernet to the back of the, uh, from the AC adapter into your router, and it will run the Wi-Fi through your whole electrical loop in the house. That's crazy, So isn't then, it? You, then you go, I then go out to the garage and I plug another one in there, and I just have it connected to a little, little router that cost me 20 quid. And does it affect the speed very much? No, no, I have it all hardwired. So okay, yeah. I've found issues with the Wi-Fi if you have it done wirelessly, but yeah. the little router's got four ports on the back and I can get four rigs off that and so on. Yeah, it's, very nice. It's pretty nifty. Okay, cool. right, so I think we are powered up, connected up, and ready to roll. Cool. So uh, if you just want to switch the two power switches on. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some power running. Ah, oh, okay, we're gonna need the operating system. So nice. I have Windows cool. ready to roll on the USB. It's Windows 10. Cool. So only because it sets up nice and quick and easy. Does it matter which order the power unit's gone? No, no, because you've got the power switch there, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, so this is the moment of truth. Power up, fire in the hole. Just want to wait for it and and yeah. Nice one. We have fans spinning as well. Yep. Yep. Cool, they're quiet, aren't yep. they? Yep. I'll wait till you get a few of them running. You'll find that different cards yeah. are really noisy. Like the noisiest ones you can get are the MSI ones, and they have a single fan yeah. with an exhaust system that runs okay. the air. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> the RPM goes up to like five, six thousand on those things, and they sound like a jet fighter. Like a drag <laughs> race. Yeah. Right, yeah. right then. Source. Okay. One of these HDMI's. I think I'll wax it in HDMI two. Nope. Hey, nice one. Okay, right. So we're going to go ahead and install Windows, and then we'll be back. <laughs> 